Hi guys, it's me, Canada, from Hot Day Nation, and today we are doing a um, review on the recent episode, <coughs> excuse me, actually not the recent episode, um, I don't think it's come out yet, um, I don't know, I actually have no idea if it's came out or not, um, on the, uh, on the new Halloween episode for MLP, or, um, the new Nightmare Night episode that came out, if you guys remember last, um, I think season two was it, it was the first ever, uh, Halloween episode they did for My Little Pony, and it was called Luna Eclipse, it was about, you know, Luna, you know, and her, you know, and her sort of thing, it was the first episode, um, for her and stuff, and, um, yeah, but I'm not going to be talking about that, I'm going to be talking about Scare Master, which is the new episode that came, which is the new Halloween episode, um, so yeah, before I start, I just want to mention, I am truly sorry about not doing a review video out, I haven't done one practically all month, month, October is, or Halloween, um, is almost over, it's almost, uh, November, and, um, I'm just really sorry for that. I just haven't had the time. I was, uh, just, I just never had any, I review my videos, try to read them alone with no one in the house, and I just haven't had that time. So, yeah. Now I'm going to try to start that again. Um, so yeah, let's get on. So this episode is a, not, actually not about Luna. It is about, um, Fluttershy, which is an interesting idea because if, um, I think, remember, in the first episode, um, it established, I don't know, I don't remember if it established if Fluttershy, if Fluttershy is afraid of Nightmare Night, she does not like Nightmare Night, she's scared of it, because, well, she's a scared pony, she's always very timid, and afraid, and stuff like that, so, um, I, so, yeah, so seeing an episode about her is very funny, it's actually very funny and very neat. Um, so the episode starts off with Fluttershy frantically around trying to make sure that everything she's got is, got is all there and the windows and everything's closed. And if her bird friends will watch, um, if anything comes, anything scary comes, or as she said, when, first herself, when something scary comes. Um, and so, yeah, she's about to get, um, Underneath the bed, she comes underneath the bed with her uh, with her animal friends and her, with, and stuff like that to basically get away from Nightmare Night. Um, uh, so, uh, but uh, Angel Bunny uh, says that he doesn't have shows Fluttershy into a bucket, someone that she doesn't he doesn't have food and he wants some. And Fluttershy is at first very afraid to go out there, but you know she tries to persuade him to do something, to try to eat something else, but. There's nothing in there, so she has to go out and get some food. So she does, and she's she's so afraid of everything. She ends up running it, uh, uh, it ends up running into Granny Smith and Big Mac, who's getting ready, I guess, for the hay ride. I assume. I'm I'm not really sure. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, Granny Smith is, you know, um, telling her about the maze and how scary it is and stuff, and she runs off. And she ends up going to the castle, Twilight, Twilight Princess Twilight Sparkle's castle, um, to ask her if she has any food. And then she runs into Spike, who's trying to fix his costume, which is modification of his first costume, which was the dragon, and it's become a two-headed dragon. And, um, so, yeah. And he ends up sort of persuading her, sort of, I mean, he sort of, you know, tells Fluttershy, you know, it would be nice if, you know, we could celebrate, all celebrate night, if you could celebrate with your friends and stuff, and just, you know, experience and have a good time for each other, and a good time for each other, with each other, and she sort of, she's like, you know, alright, I'll, I'll do that, I'll celebrate Nightmare Night with my friends, and like, what harm could it really do? So she ends up going to her going to a friend, so we're telling ghost stories to each other, and dressed up, um, and, um, and she says that, I want to celebrate and I'm with you, and they're sort of very hesitant at first, and they're like, okay, so they go, and it's very easy to put on their costumes, and each of them are dressed with very unique costumes. Twilight is a Roman, um, a Roman soldier, 
I, I believe it's Roman. It might be Greek. I, I'm not really sure. It's, uh, but I think it might be Roman. Um, uh, a bird, she is a mermaid. Um, Applejack is a lion. I want to say the cowardly lion based on what this episode is, but I think it's just, I assume that it's just a lion. Um, Rainbow Dash is a, an astronaut. She looks a lot like Buzz Lightyear, though, to me, a, a Buzz Lightyear toy. Um, and Fluttershy, Rarity is going through the costume, telling her what costume she should wear, and what costume might look good on her and stuff. But she ends up choosing just a simple black dress, like, um, because she doesn't want to wear any costumes, afraid that, you know, if she you know, change her comms, she might, you know, in here, um, might cause her trouble if she decides to run away. So she ends up wearing a black costume, and they go off to go to Shuki Corner to sort of play games and candies and stuff like that, which she ends up coming saying that, oh, what if I hurt myself, um, or what if the candy, I choke on some candy or something like that, which, okay, the choking candy could, you know, verify as a as thing since, you know, it's, since it is possible to choke on candy, but, um, just, yeah, it's just really over the top, and everyone, um, is sort of just doesn't like it, because, you know, she's sort of bumming the party out, and all that stuff, and it's just not really fun, but they don't want to say anything or do anything, because, you know, this is her first Nightmare Night, and they want her to really like it and enjoy it, um, so, um, but she decides, you know, maybe it's best that I shouldn't. But Twilight ends up saying, what if, you know, instead of, you know, doing this, you know, the scaring happening to you, what if you're doing the scaring so that, you know, way you won't be as scared? So she does that. So she invites them to their cottage for tea, which is not actually tea. She ends up sort of, you know, hiding away and, you know, talking in this very spooky voice and stuff. And, um, say, you know, it's, it's kind of a confusing thing for me to explain. Um, eventually, you know, uh, some uninvited guest pop-up, she mentions, says some uninvited guest has popped up, and it's just cardboard little drawings on string that just come down from the ceiling. And, which is neat, because they're actually pony bad version of anime characters like Balma, um, uh, the one girl from Cold something, Cold Leech or something, um, and some other characters, uh, which is kind of funny. I, I do like those. And they're actually not bad drawings. If she really practiced hard, she could be a really good drawler. Unless, um, so finally they say that, you know, these aren't really, this isn't really good, and maybe you just, maybe she shouldn't celebrate Nightmare Night and stuff. And she, and then they leave, um, um, but Angel Bunny doesn't think that she, um, that she should try again, that she should try harder, and that he has a plan, and so they go off, um, to execute that plan, um, while the main, rest of the main six go into Applejack's corn maze, which is, um, something, I don't know if they ever did it in the first game, but apparently it's something now in, in this one, in the first episode, but now it's something here, and, um, so they go in, and they're traveling through in there, and they're just, you know, it, it's sort of that corny, sort of spooky, you know, it, it's not really spooky, but, it, you know, it's a fun spooky. Like, if you were watching a cartoon episode of a Halloween episode, you know, just like this one. Um, until they end up seeing something scurry across, and they get scared and run into this hole, and the hole gets, end up getting covered up, and they have to get through the tunnel. They end up getting chased by... A monster, some type of giant aquatic monster, which is weird for an underground tunnel. And they end up running into a sticky web, a spider web, a huge spider web, where they get, where Twilight finally teleports them out and they run out to this sort of cliff clearing thing where Flutterbat is out and going to attack them. But it turns out to be Fluttershy dressed up as a, as a bat pony in a bat pony costume or as flutter bat which is actually a pretty cool thing i kind of like that they brought it back because i remember it being in do princess's sleep of magic she where she turned into flutter bat so i kind of like that they're still doing a bat flutter bat thing even though it isn't like her actually being flutter bat they still bring it back so that hint 
wasn't entirely wasted. I, I do enjoy that. I really do enjoy that. Um, but they send up, you know, saying this is all, oh, this is really amazing and really cool and stuff and that she should do it next year. But you no, know, it turns out that she doesn't want really like scaring her friends and, you know, she just wants to go home and relax and just, you know, stay under her bed. And they're like, you know, um, because you know, she doesn't, they do a lot of fun things, but she doesn't want, you know, they don't have to do everything together. And which is true. You know, they don't have to being friends. You don't have to celebrate, you know, everything with one another. Um, so yeah, you know, it ends with her being underneath the bed, reading her book, saying, oh, this is, you know, this is really good. I like this just the way it is. Um, and the episode ends, and, um, it's not a bad episode. It's actually very good. Something I, I'm, I'm going to mention is that this was actually a leaked video. It wasn't, came out on the time it was supposed to. I think it was supposed to come out on Halloween, um, Friday. I'm not really sure. Or it's at least supposed to go near Hall near ha near Halloween uh, in the week of it, but it turned out that it did. It came out really early by somebody. Apparently, someone didn't get the maybe didn't get the memo or something. Um, but yeah, <coughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's so it turns so it's a leaked ad video and it's like all of the internet now. Um, but. In the end, it's a really good episode. The comedy's really funny. The faces, the costumes, everything's really cool. I like seeing a lot of references to other things. Like, there was two ponies dressed up as a changeling and a timber wolf. Um, there was one pony that was dressed up as Twilight Sparkle, Princess Twilight Sparkle, which was kind of funny. Um, the only problem I have with this episode is the ending. I don't like the ending. It just seems... Very, it's not a bad ending, it just seems meh. It just seems very simple and just, oh, done. Like, she ends up just going back underneath her bed. I expected something a little bit different, like, you know, a change of some sort. Since, you know, now she's not afraid of Nightmare Night. I expected her maybe to hand out candy to the Me Little Falls, or maybe to piss bedding and, you know, helping out with, like, handing out prizes, or maybe on the hay ride or something like that. But no, she just goes back underneath their bed. I just expected a little bit of change. Um, so, yeah, um, just, that's, that's my, that's my problem with it, is that, um, I, I just expected something, a little bit change, and I do understand, you know, they don't have to celebrate anything together, but, you know, she says that, you know, she doesn't like scaring her friends and stuff, but, um, there's more to Nightmare Night, or in this sense, Halloween, than just scaring people. You know, it's about having fun, and, you know, you don't have to go out and watch horror movies. You can, you know, hand out candy, you know, stuff to, you know, kids and all that. That's what, Fl that's what I was kind of hoping, you know, Fluttershy would do. She would go out and hand out candy and stuff. And, but, yeah, I just, the ending seemed very meh and all right. Uh, I expected a little bit more, but... Out of all that, um, I definitely say this is probably one of my favorite Fluttershy episodes. There are uh, some bad Fluttershy episodes, but I don't think a lot of people will hate this episode just because of how fun and entertaining it was and how sort of out of character, not out of character, but how how evolved Fluttershy's character has become. Because a lot of people say Fluttershy hasn't really changed, she doesn't learn her lessons, she doesn't learn lessons and, you know, stuff like that. But, um, I feel like, you know, this shows how much Fluttershy has came in terms of, you know, the beginning of the series. Like, for example, is, is Dragonshy in there? In that episode, she was afraid of her own shadow. But here, she's conquering Nightmare Nights, and she likes it and stuff. So, um, yeah. That, so, yeah, it just shows how far Fluttershy has come. And you can't say that Fluttershy hasn't changed a bit since the beginning of the episode, beginning of the series, um, she's very, definitely has changed, and no one forced her or anything, um, if, I know Spike, you know, suggested that, you know, it'd be a good idea to celebrate Nightmare Night, which wasn't forcing her or persuading her, she just sort of, you know, suggested that, you know, hey, maybe you should celebrate Nightmare Night with your friends, it wouldn't be a bad thing, which is kind of good, and she didn't give up, she was like, you know, alright, you know what, I'm gonna keep going at this and keep trying to celebrate Nightmare Night and have fun with my friends, and she did that. So, I definitely suggest, um, you know, watching this episode and checking it out if you do. Um, 
it's a really fun episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys have a safe Halloween out there. Um, there's a lot of things out there, and um, be careful. So, yeah. Um, I'm Kenna, and um, happy Halloween!